Consistent video filtering for camera arrays. Given an input video camera array, like a stereo pair or light field, and an image filtering algorithm, we turn per frame and per view temporally and spatially inconsistent video into consistent video. Stereo video is now commonplace with 3D movies, and the current excitement surrounding virtual reality has quickened the adoption of light field, panoramic, and multi-view videos. However, image processing tools for these formats are still nascent, and few specific multi-view algorithms exist. If we simply process the images frame by frame, many algorithms are available, but often these produce spatially and temporally inconsistent results, which are unsightly and may be uncomfortable to watch. Previous works have addressed this problem for single views, but applying these to multi-view data often leaves view inconsistencies. The techniques of Lang et al. and Bonil et al. fail to enforce consistency between the views. Our goal is to help provide advanced video filters to camera array footage, such as color correction, enhancement, and analysis, by starting with simple per-frame algorithms and applying spatio-temporal consistency on top. We begin by picking an anchor view from the camera array input dataset. Then we apply the image filter to every frame in the dataset. Next, we stabilize in time across the anchor view, then stabilize in time for each secondary view, and in space between the anchor view and each secondary view. Let's see the effect in practice with an extreme toy example. We randomly filter each view of this light field to demonstrate the power of our consistency. Even inverting the pixels, flipping the gradients in one view, only introduces minor high-frequency artifacts, and we are able to recover a mostly consistent light field. More common automatic color adjustment filters can have a strong effect in video scenes, even when pixel differences due to dynamic motion and view change seem small. Our technique is able to correct for these inconsistencies to produce a more uniform appearance across views and time. However, filters themselves can be expensive, which with camera array video can be a major problem. Instead, we can filter only a subset of the data and let our consistency transfer the filter response for a large factor reduction in time. With a fixed consistency cost, the value of our filter transfer approach increases as both the cost to filter increases and the number of views increases. In these examples, we perform filtering on only one in 10 of the non-anchor input frames. While there is limited color bleeding, highlighted here against the otherwise gray shading result, the speed up for expensive image operations is often worthwhile in applications where speed is of the essence. On a real display, time and view inconsistencies are clearly visible and are distracting to look at in person. However, both the full and subset versions of our algorithm remove this flickering and lead to a more pleasing appearance. We use a non-rigid patch-match method for view correspondences, which makes it possible for our technique to handle some degree of wide baseline separation. Here, we remove temporal flickering and view inconsistency in a contrast-preserving decolorization over a collective baseline of 150 degrees. In wide baseline cases, quantization artifacts and input color bleeding can occur from incorrect correspondences. We modify patch match to be more coherent for these cases, which removes the artifacts. The quantization artifacts, caused by one-to-many correspondences, can also occur in regions of uniform texture, and so we specifically catch and correct this issue. It might seem possible to rely purely on the anchor view for temporal consistency. However, this causes flickering artifacts as, even with these modifications, the correspondence between views is not perfectly temporally consistent. Our patch match improvements still may not be enough. In this very challenging sequence, very wide baselines and large regions of low texture create correspondence challenges, which manifest as artifacts. In the paper, we quantify the accuracy of our filter transfer approach over different baselines and subset reduction amounts. Non-photorealistic rendering filters may also be problematic as they significantly change the gradients in the processed version. While we can cope somewhat with cases where gradients are removed, 
our approach tends to oversmooth the remaining edges. One way to overcome the NPR limitation is to iterate the filter response with our regularization. This works especially well in neural network-based style transfer applications, where we ultimately arrive at a spatially and temporally consistent result representative of the desired style. In our final result, we bring consistency to the recovered reflectance of this colorful performance. In conclusion, our approach enables video creators to employ a wide range of existing and future image filters with different camera array configurations, where previously the results of these operations were simply inconsistent.